up guys, Lance here from Hijack86. Hey, wanted to just give you guys a, a quick update on a, a new safe I picked up not too long ago. One of the reasons why I started doing YouTube uh, back in the day is just to share information on um, one of my hobbies at the time, which is, you know, firearms and, and such, and give you guys information on things that I had purchased uh, basically when I went out to try and find information on those. I couldn't find that information. So um, safes are kind of one of those big topics that uh, really you get into and can kind of just become a little bit overwhelming. So uh, this safe I'm going to show you guys is a uh, Champion Model T. And uh, let me open the door here. It's in my uh, closet, as you can see. So I think one of the best things for a safe, if you're looking at it, is uh, um, having a good safe, for one, is, is really important. But um, concealment, there's a lot to be said for concealment. So the best case scenario is you can have the best safe in the world, and two, it's concealed, So in my opinion. So uh, Champion. As you can see here, uh, is a I don't I don't know if they're I say they're relatively new within the safe making uh, uh, genre here. And uh, Superior is their sister company. Uh, very similar safes, uh, different features. Superior uh, has the external hinges, which means the doors open um, almost a full 180 degrees. Um, and whereas this one right here opens about 90 degrees with the Champion with the internal hinges. So um, as you can tell, I've got a couple little LED lights here. This one here and this one inside that I picked up off Amazon. Um, if you're interested in those, those are just like 20, I think they're 20 or 30 LEDs. They run a bunch of AAA batteries. But um, yeah, again, this is the, the Model T just to give you guys some uh, quick specs on it. It is a 20 cubic foot. Uh, 475 pounds so you're just under that 500 pound mark let me move you closer here so you can see uh, just under that 500 pound mark it is get these lights back on that's the only downside they turn off if you're not actually like right up there but uh um it's a 12 gauge outer door thickness the the door steel itself is 12 gauge it has eight active um, one inch bolts uh, four on each side. Uh, it's, actually, it's four, five, six, seven on seven on the bottom, and then eight on top. Um, they're one-inch bolts. It is a 24 gun capacity, or so they say. Most people say when you get a safe, if they say it's 24 or whatever, you know, cut that in half. Especially if you have scopes on your guns, um, as I do. So I bought this safe uh, really as a um, kind of a supplementary safe to a larger safe, which is which is one of the reasons why I want a little bit smaller because I can put it in a closet. Um, I also do have the electronic uh, lock as opposed to the mechanical, which makes things super easy uh, as far as getting into it quickly. Uh, so that's one thing I really like as well is just being able to get into it super quick um, as opposed to a mechanical, which I would probably favor a mechanical lock on a larger safe um, just due to uh, security and reliability. Uh, more reliability, I should say. So, fire rating on this guy, as you can see here, is 1325 uh, with an internal temp of 342 at 45 minutes. So that's one thing I do like about Champion and Superior. They list everything right on the doors here, and they do their, their rating stuff a, a little bit different, and I might say a little bit better than other companies out there. So um, that's a little bit different than the website says. If you, if you look at the Model T online, it's going to list it at, like, Oh, I think it's 1325 or 1345 for an hour. So I'm not sure if they've um, upgraded the the security on these or the fire rating. Maybe there's a newer model that you know I don't have, um, and I, I just bought the one off the, the, the showroom floor. So uh, just take a look in the inside door of the one that you're getting, uh, and that'll tell you what it is. As far as safes go, I would say the Model T, uh, it's definitely on the, the entry level on the Champion line. Uh, this guy delivered to my door was, if I remember right, 11 or 1200. Um, so it's, it, from my research and from what I've seen and what other people say, this is basically uh, one of the best safes that you can get for a thousand or under a thousand bucks. Um, you're getting a good, you're getting a really good fire rating. You're getting a pretty good safe. It's not it's not a massive safe. Uh, it's definitely not a, a huge um, Fort Knox safe either. And I don't know if I mentioned it already, but uh, my understanding with Champion and Superior is that one or more of the guys who uh, owned uh, Fort Knox uh, went off on their own and after they sold Fort Knox and started Champion and Superior. So that should say something about them as well. And I believe they started the company with. The, uh, the idea of creating basically the best safe you can for the best value when it comes to your money. So I think that's about it. If you guys have questions, comments, 
Um, put that stuff down below. All the specs can be found online, so I'm not going to go through every spec. Just check it out on their website. They've got all that stuff listed. Um, the, it does come with just some of my personal uh, notes here before we sign off. Uh, it does come with the door organizer, which is nice. Um, it does have a hole in the back to run an electrical cord if you want to do that. It does not have its own built-in electrical. you got to go a step up or two before you get to that. Um, it comes with two of these uh, rifle shell holders right here. These are all adjustable. This upper shell is adjustable. All these shells are adjustable. Um, so if you want to run two sides of long guns, you can. Um, I don't have a ton of guns in this one, so um, I just left this one as the administrative side. You can just put your magazines and whatever you want over there. Um, I do like that it does come with this guy. Um, I'm using an, uh, I call it, I don't know if it's Eva or Ava, but I'm using an, the Ava Dry uh, dehumidifier back there. That's their 333 for 330, 333 cubic feet, uh, and this safe is a 20 cubic foot. Uh, when I uh, got it out of the box, I just threw it right in here, and it lasted about a month before the colors changed enough where I had to recharge it overnight just to heat it up and dry out that silica, and I threw it back in. Um, it is summer here right now, and it's relatively humid uh, in Iowa, especially the level of the house that the safe is, is on, and I was opening it up a lot, so i am curious to see how long that lasts the second time around, um, if I can stop leaving the safe open and doing videos like this for, for as long as I am. But, um, yeah, other than that, I don't really have any notes. Um, it Last thing, it does have, I believe it's four holes in the bottom of the safe to bolt down. Uh, so if you want to bolt it down, you can do that. So one last thing I forgot to mention um, on the Champion and Superior is the warranty. Uh, for an entry level safe, these guys have uh, an amazing warranty. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of research and to find out like if anybody's ever tried to uh, like fulfill that warranty. So I'm not, I can't really you know speak on that part of it. But as far as on paper, it's awesome. Basically, the whole safe uh, falls under like a, a lifetime warranty. So if it's burned up in a fire or is damaged, um, you know, by somebody during the process, um, they will replace that or do what they need to do to fix that for free. Uh, so there is a lifetime warranty on that. So you just got to make sure that when you get it, you get the thing registered. So you got to go through in there and register it. It can be registered to, I want to say, two uh, addresses during its time, which is, is kind of weird uh, when I first heard that. So you make sure you get it registered uh, to your address. So and you can transfer it one time. So if you were to move once, you re-register it in a new address. Um, and if you were to sell it to somebody, they could re-register it under their name. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, at this time, it's only transferable um, one time. So basically, you, you get it originally, and then you can transfer it, you know, once. So, you know, two, or, you know, two total. Uh, the only thing that's not covered under the warranty is the lock. And I believe this applies for the electronic locks and the mechanical locks. You'll have to do some digging on that a little bit more. I know the electronic locks aren't covered under that that lifetime warranty. So I believe they're a, they're a one year or two year, um, but they do sell an extended plan. So if you want to go with the extended plan, it's a hundred bucks, uh, and then they will cover your lock for, for the lifetime. So that's something that I'm probably going to do on this particular safe. Um, but yeah, just, just a couple notes there. So that's it, see ya.